what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this is your boy dennis and Derry 2 back at it again at Derry 2 basketball hq yeah i'm excited i'm back with this another video so in this video i'll be looking at the free, ag free agency moves that you know just happened uh you know this is the best time on the nba calendar you see the different moves that different teams might do and uh, i'll be looking at different moves that you know basic team basically all the teams that they made and uh we're just gonna get through them one by one for each player that you know you know um impacted their teams and see how they're gonna move forward so before we do it before we even go any further man yeah man be sure to like the video like the video make sure you know subscribe to the channel turn on notification posts so that you never miss any gems i'm dropping and um you know watch the video till the end and uh without further ado let me just get into it so the first player we're looking at is alex caruso so free agent alex caruso uh, has agreed to a four-year 37 million dollar deal with the chicago bulls so this is a guy who was the energy plug for the lakers you know uh, the lakers didn't have enough cap room because the, you know they traded for russell westbrook so it really dented the financial skill his financial ability to you know retain or re-sign players so alex russo walked in free agency this is a guy who averaged 5.9 points 2.3 rebounds 2.4 assists Shot 42.9.9 percent from the field, 37.7, 37.7 percent from three. So he's a very solid, solid guy, especially in that championship run. Uh, we know what Caruso meant to the Lakers. He's a very good role player off the bench, and um, we'll just see how this this guy, you know, pans out with the Bulls. So great guy, great guy. He won a chip with the Lakers, and uh, that's that. We got Alfonso McKinney. Ford Alfonso McKinney has been waived by the Los Angeles Lakers. So McKinney has played on four teams in his four seasons in the league, averaging 4.0 points in his career. So uh, this guy was clearly, you know, cut from the Lakers to, you know, create, create new space, new cap room to sign other players. So that's that. So we got Andre Drummond, free agent center. Andre Drummond has agreed to a one-year deal with the Philadelphia 76ers. Drummond averaged 11.9 points, 10.2 rebounds in 21 games with the Los Angeles Lakers that season, and he was bought up after he after he was bought out for the by the Cleveland Cavaliers. So this guy has agreed to a one-year deal with the Sixers, and uh, he was acquired by the lakers after cleveland bought him out and um you know he's a poor field goal free free throw percentage he has a fourth free throw percentage uh you know it's gonna be very difficult for the Sixers to improve especially from the line where you got guys like ben simmons who can't shoot a three or you can't even shoot a free throw to save his life you're adding andre drummond to you know back up joel Embiid, and um i don't know the pain is just gonna get clogged when you got ben simmons joel Embiid, and andre drummond on the floor so I don't know what the Sixers are doing at this point. So Ben Simmons, the Philadelphia 76ers, are, 76ers are continuing to canvas the league for Ben Simmons trades, but are armed with a steep asking price. So Simmons and his agent, clutch CEO Rich Paul, I mean, are really, really putting a steep price on Ben Simmons. This, is, mind you, this is the number one pick, former number one pick in the 2016 draft. This is a player who can shoot. He has not shown any improvement in his game. And uh, there's a steep asking price for this player, considering the fact that he's, you know, guaranteed near, damn near like 177 million. So any team that, you know, is getting a Ben Simmons just knows that they're going to get a player who's not going to improve on anything. So, I mean, this is this is a very tall ask for any team to, you know, get a Ben Simmons because they know the disadvantages that these guys carry. This guy usually has on the court and, um, you know, can't shoot a three, can't shoot a field goal, can't shoot any, can't shoot even from the line to save his life. So that's that. Then you got Blake Griffin, six time All Star Blake Griffin, agreed to one year deal to stay with the Brooklyn Nets. So he's going to, you know, run it back with the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, this was just, you know, a discovery season for him with the Nets franchise. You know, he was bought out and uh, he was picked up by the. But the Brooklyn Nets from the Detroit the Detroit Pistons in the in the buyout market. So uh, let's see how he can run it back and see how he can play. So that's that. Then we got Bobby Portis. The Milwaukee Bucks agreed to a two year nine million deal with Bobby Portis. The second the second year has a player options. So you can see Bobby Portis wants to run it back with the Milwaukee Bucks. So you can see the Milwaukee Bucks are you know 
that team that won the championship, you know, he won his first ring. He got he was a very solid role player, man. I mean, two year, nine million, not bad. Running back, solid role player off the bench for the Bucks, helped the Bucks in the playoffs and in the finals. So you can see this guy is pretty good. This guy is pretty good. So that's that. So Bobby Portis, he earned that nine million is million. So it's not that much, but you know, uh, the Bucks, you know, their payroll is pretty crazy at this point. Then we got the <laughs> they got the Brooklyn Nets have tendered a qualifying offer to reserve guard Bruce Brown, making him a free agent. So the calling the qualifying offer per ESPN Bob, Bobby Marx is for 4.7 million. Brown was a key role player for the Nets last season, averaging eight, averaging 8.8 .8 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 1.6 5.6 assists in his 22.3 minutes per game. So. Solid role player. So let's see if the next let's see how the next are gonna handle this situation. Then we got Brian Forbes. He is declining his play option for the 21-2022 season. He's becoming an unrestricted free agent. Remember, Brian Forbes was a key part in the you know Milwaukee Bucks. He knew how to shoot them threes, and uh, the Bucks are really losing out on a guy you know who was, <laughs> I mean, he was very phenomenal from three. Forbes. 28 was fourth in the NBA in three-point shooting, 45.2% last season. So you can see uh, the Bucks are taking a critical hit, especially uh, losing a key three-point shooter, three-point marksman in a Brian Forbes because any team that's going to get him, they know they're going to get production from the three. So then we got Carmelo Anthony. Free agent Carmelo Anthony has agreed to a one-year deal with the Los Angeles Lakers. So, Carmelo Anthony, 37, has spent the prior two seasons with Portland, averaged 14.3 points per game, and shot 40% from three. So, safe to say this is, you know, Melo's last chance at a title, especially he's going to play together with his, you know, team. You know, um, that guy, <laughs> the guy that he was, his career is always compared to the, the great player of this generation in LeBron James. So, I mean... Um, they, they were drafted together, so it makes sense that, you know, he goes and ring chases with the LeBron James. So, but this is Camilo, Camilo, Camilo Anthony's, <laughs> this is Melo's best chance of, you know, winning a title. Sorry, I don't know. Camilo Anthony. So it's a mouthful for me. <laughs> but anyway, this is his chance to win a ring. So if you can't win a ring now, I don't know when. I mean, it just has to happen. It just has to happen. Spend the last two seasons with Portland, 14.3 points, 40% from three. He's a solid veteran pickup for the Lakers. So moving on quickly, we got this three-team deal. In a three-team deal, the Celtics have acquired guard Chris Dunn, Ford, Bruno Fernando, and a 2023 second-round pick in exchange. The Kings received center Tristan Thompson. While the Hawks guard landed Dillon Wright, sources told ESPN Adrian Wojnarowski. So you can see uh, Chris Dunn and Bruno Fernando in the Celtics. Tristan Thompson, he was appearing for the Celtics, but now he's going to be playing for the Kings. So you can see uh, the obvious regression from Tristan Thompson. This guy, after LeBron left, he's never been the same. He's never got the scoring opportunities that he got because, you know, I mean, this is a guy who just lacked an identity after LeBron left in Cleveland. So he got... So he went to the Celtics. He didn't get an identity there. So you see he's going to land at the Kings. And uh, I expect his career to kind of dwindle down because, I mean, the Kings, they, uh, they have the longest playoff drought in NBA history at this point. Then got Delon Wright. Delon Wright. Remember Delon Wright really was really impactful with the Raptors. But, man, after he left the Raptors, I mean, after he left the Raptors, I mean, all things went downhill. So you can see. I mean, uh, the Celtics got a good pickup in Chris Dunn and Bruno Fernando, but the and that second round pick. But the others, I don't know how they're gonna pan out. Just wait, have to wait and see. Then we got the Charlotte Hornets allow, announced that they will allow Malik Monk to become an unrestricted free agent and have extended a qualifying offer to make Devonte Graham a restricted free agent. So you can see both players are being released by the Charlotte Hornets. So. Just see, let's just see where the dominoes fall because the news are just coming in. And, um, I mean, this free agency, the way, you know, things are moving, I mean, deals are being made pretty fast. So I'm just going to make sure to cover every single deal that's happening. Then we got Chris Paul. He opted out of his 44 million player option 
and uh, has agreed to stay with the Suns in a new four-year deal that will be worth $120 million. So you can see CP3 loved the Suns franchise, and that's why, you know, they signed him to that deal that, you know, is going to guarantee him, you know, $120 million. And um, he's going to be stay, staying with the Suns for, from now on because, you know, Chris Paul, uh, he was a key part in the reason why the Phoenix Suns made the finals, although they lost to the Bucks in the six games. I mean, um, it shouldn't be overlooked that that was a su successful season for Chris Paul because he actually finally made the finals. You know, he was very close in 2018, but it wasn't that close. Um, you know, they got beat in seven games by the Golden State Warriors. Um, that time, you know, he was struggling and struggling with injuries, but in this season, the last season, <laughs> he was able to, you know, make the NBA Finals by beating the Clippers in six games, although they got overmatched by the Bucks in game three, four, five, and six. So uh, it's it's better for him to stay with the Suns because, you know, the Suns have a good culture. It's going to be a men good mentor for DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker and all the other guys in the Suns franchise. So, yeah, man, man he, he, he got it. He got it. So, yeah, man. I mean, CP3, he's that guy, man. Then we got DeMar DeRozan. The Chicago Bulls are adding San Antonio Spurs free agent DeMar DeRozan on a three-year, $85 million contract and a sign-and-trade deal. Chicago will send Thad Young and Alfredo Camino and picks in the deal. So you can see, you know, um, sign-and-trade for the Chicago Bulls. So you can see the Chicago Bulls are building up their roster Earlier, they got uh, Lonzo Ball, they got Alex Caruso, they got reunited in the Chicago Bulls, and uh, you know, Chicago Bulls are not they're not going going on silent this off season because you know they they made moves, they made a signing trade to acquire Demar Derozan, you know, to build around you know Kobe White and the rest of the roster. So I expect the Chicago Bulls to you know at least make the playoffs and you know do make some noise in the regular season in the playoffs. So. Great pickup for the Bulls. This is a straight W for the Bulls. So, yeah, man. Then we got the Jazz have agreed to trade Derek Favors and a future, <laughs> and a future first round pick to the Thunder. I mean, <laughs> what is going on right here? And a future first round pick to the Thunder for a future second round pick. Sources told ESPN Adrian Wojnarowski, the deal creates some financial flexibility for Utah while. Oklahoma City adds an additional first rounder, so you can see Oklahoma City, they're just, you know, picking up those picks, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I mean, what, what what are you doing, OKC, man, all these picks, bro, I mean, there's so many, this is, Derek Favors is a center, he was a center for the Jazz, and uh, he played for the Jazz for 10 seasons, so you can see this guy's loyal to the franchise, but, you know, got traded for future second round picks, and, um, you know, he averaged 10.8 points, 7.2 rebounds, 1.1 assists on 53% shooting from the field. And he was a backup center for Rudy Gobert, so um, that's that. But later, they acquired Hashan Whiteside, so that's that. So they got their backup center, so in spite of the fact that they gave away Derek Favors like that. So moving forward quickly. Then we got guard Derek Rose has agreed to a three-year, $40 million deal to return to the New York Knicks. I actually don't know why D. Rose will sign this deal. I understand you just want the money, but at this point in his career, he just has to sign to go to a contender. He has he had to sign to a contending team so that, you know, he can make some player noise in the playoffs. I don't know I don't know the expectations for the Knicks because I don't know I don't know what the Knicks are doing. You know, they got knocked out. I mean the Knicks got knocked out in the first round in five games by the Atlanta Hawks. So I don't know why he signed, he made a decision to stay with the Knicks. I don't know. I know he loves the Knicks. They're a big market. They're a big apple. But for him, he needs to win the championship. And I don't think he's winning any with the New York Knicks, unless he's going to get traded. And uh, also reports today, <laughs> as as when I was recording, Ken Walker is also headed to the Knicks. So I mean, it's just crazy at this point. So you got Julius Randle, you got, you know, Nolan's the well, you got Alec Burks who are still in the roster, but I don't think that they are what it takes to win a championship. So that's that. So moving on swiftly. Then we got Devontae Graham. The New Orleans Pelicans are adding Charles Hornets restricted free agent guard Devontae Graham on a four-year, $47 million contract in a signing trade. I mean... 
New Orleans Pelicans will send Charlotte its 2022 lottery protected first round pick. And, uh, you know, Devontae Graham is at least, you know, he's going to go to a team that, you know, <laughs> he, he, he didn't feel well. He didn't fit well with the, the emergence of a Lamelo ball. So, I mean, he didn't get his. He didn't get his minutes as much because this guy had a breakout breakout season. He should have got the most improved player of the <laughs> most improved player of the year award uh, in the 2019-2020 season because he averaged almost like 20 points, but you know he didn't get it. So, I mean, th- this is a guy who you know he 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 can be a very good backup point guard or also a starting point guard in this league. So that money is justified the way he was paid. So it's pretty good. Moving on swiftly, we've got long-range shooter Duck McDermott has agreed to a three-year, $42 million deal to San Antonio, San Antonio Spurs, according to ESPN's Zach Lowy. So you can see Duck McDermott, uh, he was playing for the Pacers. I feel like, you know, yeah, this is a good pickup for the San Antonio Spurs, you know, after, you know, losing uh, DeMar DeRozan to the Chicago Bulls by signing trade. So... I feel like, you know, Greg Popovich maybe can be able, be able to mold this guy into a lethal shooter and be able to, you know, take the Spurs back to the playoffs after after the playoffs, the playoff streak for the San Antonio Spurs got, you know, got snapped in 29, the 2020 postseason. So <laughs> I, I just hope this guy can, you know, help the Spurs to get back to the playoffs. <laughs> then we've got Duncan Robinson has agreed to a five-year 90 million down contract to stay with the Miami Heat. I mean, this is the largest deal ever for an undrafted player. So you can see Duncan Robinson really secured the bag at this point. And um, you can see he secured the bag. Uh, he got that five year, 90 million elite shooter from three Miami Heat cornerstone that, you know, can be a, can be very productive as, as a long range sniper. So Building around Jimmy Butler is a priority for the Miami Heat, and keeping a Duncan Robinson is very important for the Miami Heat moving forward. So, great signing, great, very great signing for the Miami Heat. Then we've got free agent Dwight Howard is returning to the Los Angeles Lakers, the city of angels. I mean, this will be Howard's third tour with the Lakers. I mean, he Dwight Howard, you know, he helped the Lakers with the 2020. In the year 2020, in the finals, I mean, you know, the whole, like, 2019-2020 season, you know, he played for the Lakers. Uh, he, he was very impactful, especially off the bench. He decided to take a vacation in the 2020-2021 season to the Philadelphia 76ers. The things didn't work out pretty well for him, so he decided to run it back with the Lakers. Now he's in his third stand with the Lakers. He's a solid big man through the years. And uh, we need we need Dwight Howard back because for the Lakers to go back to the finals, we need players, we need veteran big men like Dwight Howard to play alongside, you know, Anthony Davis and uh, LeBron James. So Dwight Howard, great, great, great for him to come back. And we got free agent Evan Fournier has agreed to terms with the Knicks on a four-year deal that was worth as much as $78 million. I mean, as per Adrian Wojnarowski. So, I mean, Evan Fournier, he played... He played for the Celtics, but it wasn't a good fit. Uh, he's bowling out for the French national team, especially in this Olympics. Uh, he played well in Orlando, but his play with the Celtics was not great at all. And uh, he had, he decided to go to the Knicks for on a near max. So nothing can, no one can blame him. You know, the bag goes there, and, uh, you know, he got to secure that near max, you know, to get, get paid at this point because this guy is, you know, giving his best and, um, you know, Gotta get gotta move forward with the Knicks, but I don't know what the Knicks are doing. We got Enro Fournier, we got Kemba Walker, we've got D Rose. I don't know what the Knicks are doing at this point. <laughs> but anyway, moving forward quickly, Gary Trent Jr. has agreed to a three-year, fifty-four million deal <laughs> to return to the Toronto Raptors. His agent, his his agent, Rich Paul, of Clutch, CEO of Clutch Points, Clutch Sports. Excuse me told ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski the deal will include a player option on the third year. So Gary Trent Jr. is solid for three seasons with the Paul and Trail Blazers. Average 10.2 points. I mean, 42% from the field traded from the Blazers to the Raptors. He had a breakout season with the Raptors. 16 points per game, 42%, 40, 40% field goal percentage. He deserved every, every single dollar in that contract. And uh, yeah, man, Gary Trent Jr., that guy, 
They got George Hill has been waived from the Philadelphia 76ers. Phil, George Hill, who was you know acquired by a mid-season trade from the Oklahoma City Thunder, averaged 6.0 points and shot 39% from three in 16 games for the Philadelphia 76ers last season. So, so the Philadelphia 76ers, you know, expected some a bit of production from George Hill, but it looks like they didn't get what they wanted. So. They just decided to cut him. Actually, I find it funny that they're cutting him, and he's actually a pretty good guy from the three. So, I don't know what the Sixers are doing at this point. <laughs> it's very crazy. Then we've got free agent four George Nyang has agreed to a two-year, six point seven million deal with the 76ers. Sources tell ESPN Tim Bontemps Nyang, 28, was a key contributor to the Jazz last season, and he will provide depth for the contending Sixers. So. He did what he did in the Jazz, and, uh, you know, the Sixers picked him up. So, he pick up, you know, at this point, the Sixers just need everything, everyone they're going to get. So, that's that. So, I mean, those are one of those moves. Those, these are some of the moves. I'll be doing another video highlighting other moves that took place and, you know, get my two cents on them. And, uh, yeah, man, if you guys like the video, like the video. Make sure to leave your feedback down in the comment section down below. Make sure to, you know, subscribe to the channel, turn on notification posts so that you never miss any new gems I'm dropping, and uh, with that being said, man, I'm out. Peace.